Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today, not on the outside and the ski piece around the beach, but from our ski chalet here in Sierra Nevada, Spain, uh, talking about four amazing charts. I have a trading tip, but the trading tip is three amazing projects that you need to take a look at. I am investing in those. Of course, a travel tip. Of course, talking about the news. Of course, answering all of the questions of the followers. And yes, ending with the favorite part of most of the people, the inspirational part. Let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening because Bitcoin is dipping again to a 65K area. Are we going to go lower to 60K to pick up a share of the volume? or will the 65k be the support? Let's check the charts. The first chart for the day, guys, is this four hour chart. On this four hour chart, you will see these two green lines, horizontal green lines. I've drawn these horizontal green lines already a couple of weeks ago. I drew them because they were support and resistance lines. So the resistance was there all the way in March, in the beginning of March. We broke it, and then we came above that bottom green line. Then we hit that top green line as a resistance. We fell back again to that bottom green line. From there, we worked up again to the top green line and we finally broke that around the 11th of March. Now, then we went to that blue line on the top. We couldn't break that 74, 5K level. We came back to that green line and we fell down below it again. And we have been trying to break it, but every time when we try to break that green line, we come down again and we try it again and we come down again. Now we will probably find support on that bottom green line around 62,700 US dollar. That top green line is around 68,900 US dollar. It is not bad if Bitcoin starts to move in between these lines for a couple of days or even weeks, because that is how Bitcoin goes sideways probably till the halving in April, which will be three to four weeks. And then, of course, we will see another explosion because the demand will be growing, the supply will be decreasing, the new daily supply will be created. So that will lead into a supply shock, which will lead into a push of the Bitcoin price. Don't freak out, zoom out, stop crying, start buying this dip and the sideways movement. How do we know that these are the support levels? Just look, for example, at this chart. On this chart, you can see which volumes are being created on which levels. So you can see there's a lot of resistance between the 71 and the 72K level. We can also see there is a lot of support between the 66 and the 67K level. And we can see that the next levels of support is somewhere around the 61K level. These huge amounts of volumes are being created there. So a lot of buying and selling is being done over there. So that is why these are support and resistance levels. Pause the video and analyze the chart a little bit more if you want to investigate exactly where the support and resistance levels will be. On this chart, uh, this is a very special chart. I found this chart on Twitter. I don't know who posted it, but maybe that symbol or that logo over there is the one that posted it. Um, this chart I haven't seen ever before. It is showing us the 56 day chart. So every candle is 56 days. So that's not two months, that's not one month, it's exactly 56 days. And if we follow this 56 day candlestick pattern on the bottom, we can see this channel forming. And every time when we reach the top of the channel, that's where the red circle is, we top out in the bull market. That blue circle is the bottom of the bear market. And then again in 2021, the red circle, the top, was again the top of the channel on the bottom as well. And that blue circle, again, the bottom of the bear market. So we did cross already now, that blue line crossed that yellow line, but we didn't reach the top of the downward channel yet. So which means the bull market top is not in yet on this 56 day chart. So it's very interesting to see that the previous two bull markets played exactly out as this channel predicted. Now let's see if this bull market also will do the same. When the blue line will hit the top of that downward channel on the bottom part of the chart, that is when the red circle will appear again at the top. And that is when the top of the bull market will be in. We are not near the bull market top yet. And that is of course also what Plan B's chart is showing us. There is a lot of positive, beautiful, amazing Bitcoin days ahead of us. We are now around that gray line, which is the average line for Bitcoin. The stock to flow model is that wide line. We will go to that next wide line that you can see there on the top. 
And a lot of people think that the white line is near $1 million, but it is not near $1 million. Just count the horizontal lines. The, line, the white line is between four hundred and five hundred thousand dollars and 500000 You need to look a little bit different at the chart than in the normal chart. Look to the left where you can see 10000 100000 1 million, and then count the lines in between 10000 and 100000 and you will see that it's 10 lines. So every line is 10000 between 100,000 and 1 million, every line is 100,000. So this white line that should be the target for those red dots is between 400 and 500,000. And that white line can be reached between 2024 and 2028. So that plan B stock to flow model for me is a very important model because just telling us that the scarcity of Bitcoin because of the halvings will become scarcer and scarcer Will the demand grow and grow and grow? Then we will follow the stock to flow model and reach that white line somewhere between 24 and 28. That would be 500,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And we are on schedule. We are now breaking that gray line just like we did in the previous two, three bull markets even. Every time when those red dots start to cross that gray line, we went to that white line. Just look at the chart, pause the chart and analyze it a little bit more. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, we can freak out about the short time or be crying about these dips. But what I've been teaching you all the time is we don't freak out, we zoom out. We don't cry, we buy. It's very simple. Stop freaking out, start zooming out, stop crying like a little baby, start buying like an adult Bitcoin investor. That's how simple it is, guys. Of course, we can see the shitload of support between those green lines, support and resistance. I've drawn those green lines already on this chart for a very long time. I've been telling you, we will be moving in between them. The moment we break out is very positive, but as we come back in between them, the bottom one will be support, the top one will be resistance. When we break that bottom one, yes, we could even retest at 62k area, whereas the next level of support. Charting is not that difficult if you just spend time to educate yourself on it, guys. Now, if you don't have time for that, then join the Bitcoin Family VIP group where you get trading signals, where you get trading advice, where you get a course of more than 40 modules about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. It's a very cool group to join and to become a member of, VIP member. And yes, we have a free group and we have a paid VIP group. Just check the bitcoinfamily.com for more information. The trading tip for today, guys, doesn't have anything to do with trading, but it has to do with investing in projects. I am investing in three amazing projects that I analyzed, I like the teams, I did my due diligence, I really understand the projects, and I really think these projects are going to do well in this next bull market. I'm not gonna do a deep dive into the projects because you need to do that yourself to understand exactly what you're investing in, but I'm gonna name them and tell you what it's about. First project, VR Victoria. This is a metaverse project that's gonna do really well in my honest opinion. The token is already doing really well. I think it had an all-time high of 60 cents. It's now somewhere around four cents. So that's a beautiful pickup for you guys. VR Victoria metaverse project. The second project I want you to take a look at is Estate X. Estate X is a fractionalizing of real estate. This is going to be a huge project. It's being supported by huge influencers, invested by huge VCs, and I think that fractionalizing of real estate is going to be a very big thing in the next decade because people don't want to own a huge house anymore. They just want to own a small part of a house and make the yearly returns on investments of being the owner of a small part of this house, that house, and another house. It gives the normal people access to be investor in real estate. Even with $100 or $500, you can be a real estate investor. So Estate X, huge project if you ask me. And the third project I want to tip you off is Aoki Labs. Aoki Labs is about spatial computing. Just search the internet or X, for example, for spatial computing and you will find a shitload of results because it's becoming very popular. Aoki Labs is one of the biggest blockchain related companies in this area, so I took a deep dive in it and I discovered, A, hey, this is gonna be a big project. I'm gonna invest in it. So again, VR Victoria, Estate X, and Aoki Labs are my three tips to invest in for today. The travel tip for today is when you travel with little children 
or dogs, yes, you know what I'm going to say, or even female dogs, <laughs> I got you, or of course, um, with uh, people that have anxiety. You have a lot of pills for this. You also have drops for this, and they call these rescue drops. So you can buy them in all the pharmacies, and it's a little bottle, it's like a small one, and it's called like rescue oil or something. And these, I don't know how it's called exactly, but I know that my wife always buys them to give the dog, but she always used them as well. When she was younger and did performances with dancing, she was a ballet dancer. And when it was really like nervous because it was a huge stage, then sometimes she took these rescue drops to calm down. So if you are afraid of flying, Take these rescue dubs, you will calm down. If your dog is anxious of lying, give him one of those rescue dubs, he will calm down. It's like nothing pharmaceutical, it's all nature-based, but they make you a little bit more calm when you have a certain anxiety for something that you need to do in or while traveling, guys. So rescue dubs are, in our family's opinion, way better than all the pills and tablets and vaccinations and everything you can take. Just take a couple of rescue drops and yeah, you will start to feel calm again, or your dog, or your kid, or uh, whoever you want to be calm. If you don't want to do jiggy jiggy with your husband, do some rescue drops in his drink in the night and then when he goes to bed, he will fall asleep. He doesn't want to do jiggy jiggy anymore. <laughs> it's a very bad tip, Didi. But yeah, also there it works. He will become calm. <laughs> Let's jump into the next part. To answer the question for today, guys, uh, there was multiple questions, but I want to talk a little bit more about all the best wishes and the congratulations from you guys to us on our Amazon Prime and series. We are very proud that we achieved that, and we are very proud that we can do this for the crypto community because, you know, we will now be putting Bitcoin out there on one of the biggest streaming platforms of the world. This is not YouTube, like you see in that screen. This is not like some video platforms like Rumble or whatever. This is mass media. This is the biggest streaming platform of the world. And I know that many of you think Netflix is, but Netflix is big in Europe. But Amazon Prime is the biggest one in the United States and other parts of the world. So Amazon Prime is really huge. And a lot of people now will see the emotions connected to Bitcoin. The Bitcoin family. How does a family survive solely on Bitcoin? What do they do with the parts of the Bitcoin? How does it work traveling the world with a family without owning a house, without owning anything? Is that even possible? Unbanked. That is exactly what the series is going to show you. And I'm very thankful for all the best wishes. Thank you very much. And yes, we are aware, we are definitely aware that it all can be a flop. We are definitely aware that people can be like, ah, what a strange family. And that we will get some hate because of all the things that we do. And especially because we think different about many subjects, especially me, myself and I. I'm thinking very different about certain subjects. And a lot of people will be like, this guy is crazy. And I know we are exposing our whole family to this. But we just wanted to give Bitcoin some space out there on a huge streaming platform. We want people to understand that Bitcoin is not just about Lamborghinis and becoming filthy rich. It's also about protecting your capital and it's also about helping other people all over the world. And it's also a way of life, unbanked, that people don't believe that it is possible. And we show that it is possible. So I hope the series won't be a flop. I hope that the series is going to be loved by everyone out there. But of course, we are prepared for a little bit of hate because we think a little bit different and we act a little bit different than the normal people. Again, normal people, how do you define it? That's how the government defined normal people. Like in the 90s, when you go to school, how you have been boxed into this box as a normal person. Yes, we stepped out of it. And that is what exactly will be shown in this series and maybe open the eyes of other people to do exactly the same. So let's see where it all will end up. And I want to thank you for all the positive comments down below yesterday's video. Thank you and give it a thumbs up again. The news for today is about the IMF. Because the IMF doesn't like Bitcoin. Or do they like Bitcoin? No, they don't like Bitcoin. The IMF doesn't know what they think about Bitcoin. Normally, when they publish news, they're like, Bitcoin is bad, we hate Bitcoin. But when a country like Pakistan needs to settle a bill of 3 billion US dollar with the IMF, then they will tell Pakistan, hey, you should tax all the cryptocurrency profits of your people. Then they like cryptocurrency again. Yes, because we can tax it. So the IMF doesn't make up their mind. And they can't make up their mind because they are led by stupid, retarded people. In the moment they will accept some younger blood 
into the top of the IMF that understands blockchain, that understands Bitcoin, that understands uh, cryptocurrencies, maybe then they will be maybe then they will be able to understand that scary, scary blockchain technology that is disrupting the monetary system. So now Pakistan needs to pay $3 billion, and now the IMF is telling him, you should tax all your people's cryptocurrency profits so you can pay us back the debt that you own us. Now you need to tax people on cryptocurrency. Now the IMF suddenly likes it. So yes, IMF. So let one thing be very clear, IMF. I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Because you disrupted the lives of millions to billions of people because you didn't create a honest economy. You didn't create anything honest when it comes to money. You're promoting shit coins that are being printed out of thin air, backed by nothing, and you're promoting people to use that one. Knowing those people are destroying their purchasing power every year again and again and again because of inflation. And you know exactly, the people up there of the IMF, that that is exactly what the economy is focused on. Keeping those poor people poor and making that 1% people rich because those poor people, they don't have the same opportunities as those rich people. And now they have that opportunity called Bitcoin to become rich in an other way and now you want to destroy that possibility again by taxing it or by all the regulations that are you are imposing now on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So that is why we can't be friends, IMF. Sorry for that. I will be enjoying my ski holiday over here. I will be enjoying that I paid it with Bitcoin again. I will be enjoying all my Bitcoin profits and all that other stuff without you being ever able to stop me, Mr. and Mrs. IMF up there high in the sky, counting the billions and trillions while a lot of people die out of hunger because you don't want to have countries or central banks print money to save people from hunger. No. You IMF, you beautiful control system over there, you just tell those central banks to print to save an economy, but not to save people out of hunger. That is why we will never be friends, Mr. and Mrs. IMF. And the last part of the video, guys, is the inspirational quote for today. The inspirational quote, of course, I'm in Spain, is a Spanish quote, and the quote is, al mal tiempo bueno cara, which means everything just looks better with a smile. So whatever you do in life, keep smiling. Whatever you're facing, keep smiling. Whatever problems you need to overcome or hurdles you need to overcome, just keep smiling. Everything that you do in life will look better when you smile. I can look to this amazing view now and be like, oh, and I feel already my energy flowing away. I can also look to this amazing view and be like, wow, this is amazing, I love it. And I feel the goosebumps and energy coming up. Whatever it is in life that you do, do it with a smile. Al mal tiempo, buena cara. That's the Spanish for whatever you do in life, do it with a smile. It will just look all a little bit more beautiful. At least I think that it means something like that because I'm not Spanish speaking. I just speak a few words in Spanish, but I really like that expression that you need to do and look at everything in life with a smile because then it looks way more beautiful. So even when you're experiencing a huge dip or you are speaking to someone that you really don't like, for example, the IMF, or for example, the Queen or the King of the Netherlands, whatever it might be, just look at them with a smile and think by yourself, you motherfuckers, karma will get you. <laughs> and keep smiling, and just keep smiling. And they will, at the end, will get their karma for all the things that they did wrong in their lives to all the people out there, guys. So in my honest opinion, yeah, karma does exist. So whatever it is that you experience in life, just look at it with a smile. It will look a little bit more beautiful. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the tips? What do you think about the news and everything else? And yes, of course, I will continue to do videos outside. I don't like to do them inside, but today I woke up a little bit late, so that's why the video is up a little bit late. Yes, I have a little holiday as well, and I will continue creating the videos during the day, and then posting them in the morning so you can look them at 7.30 sharp because you love to look my videos with a cup of coffee in the morning. Uh, and that's also more easy for me because then I can just do my thing in the morning, like skiing in this beautiful area that I'm now looking at, guys. I already restructured that whole thing, but sometimes, you know, you need to get back into that rhythm. And last night, I was just too tired to create a video, so that's why I'm doing it this morning again. And the video is a little bit later, but still, give it more thumbs ups. We need to reach 75k subscribers as soon as possible because Bitcoin will go and break that 75k level somewhere between now and the end of this year. 
So please give us some support. Please share this channel with one of your friends, family or colleagues and tell them to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again. Bam.